What's up guys, it's Nick, happy Thanksgiving. I wanted to share with you today a Black Friday deal that I'll be taking advantage of, and it's for this 30 inch five drawer mechanics cart. Now, I've wanted something like this for a while, something that I could put all of my basic car tools in and be able to wheel it around the garage instead of having tools all over the floor, and also even be able to wheel it out into the driveway um, so I can work on one of my other vehicles out in the driveway. Uh, excuse my voice, I'm a little sick. It costs $229.99, which in itself is a steal, but they are having a Black Friday sale, and you can see here the coupon is for $169.99. That's $60 off. I'm not sure why the coupon says $199.95 as the retail price, but on the website it shows for $229.99, which is the price it's always been. So that's $60 off, something that was already priced very reasonably. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger on that. So the card actually has 1,200 reviews, and you can see here 98% of them are five-star reviews. So it must be pretty good. The comparable Blue Point Snap-on cart cost $830, so this is $600 less, and then $60 less than that. And if you scroll down on the product page, they actually have a video comparing the two, and in a lot of ways, they're exactly the same. And the Harbor Freight one actually exceeds in a couple of points. So I'll link the coupon in the description below from the site that posts Harbor Freight coupons all the time. There'll also be another 20% uh, coupon used at the same time. If you want to pick up a couple more things, you can see I did a mock order here and I also plan on getting the folding uh, side tray for the cart, which is another $30, but you can use the 20% coupon to get $6 off of that. I'm also going to pick up the peg style socket trays, um, which should cut down a lot of space being used in the cart for my sockets. Got myself a little gift today. So after I finished putting this together, I realized that the tray actually mounts in these four holes. So go ahead and just mount the tray while you're putting these together because now I have to take these off to put the tray on. So here's the finished product. We got a five drawer, 30 inch mechanics cart. It's a neat little toolbox for the price, it's amazing. We got the optional side tray, which was like $20 more. We got some bottom storage. I didn't actually fill everything up yet. Um, but basically what I did is I put 
all of the tools I usually use to work on cars in this cart so I can bring it around the car when I'm working in the garage because I hate when I'm working on the car and when you're done there's just like the floor has 57 tools on it so this should alleviate that I also got it so I can work on cars in my driveway I have a couple other vehicles that I work on in the driveway sometimes and this alleviates me having to walk back and forth and having my whole driveway uh, peppered with tools. I did have a larger uh, toolbox over here, but it's kind of big, so I never really wheeled it around. This makes it wheeling it around a lot easier. <clears throat> so the quality is really good, especially for the money. You can see I got the socket set. Um, they come in half inch, three quarter, and one quarter. I didn't get the SAE set because I barely ever use those. I just have those in the uh, Craftsman trays that they came in, pretty much. Those are all my SAE ones. I never really ever use those, honestly. I haven't finished filling it up yet. I just have all the basic tools I use to work. Sockets, wrenches, T-bars, um, breaker bar, you know, and then I have all of my specialty sockets, my external torques, hex, uh, torques. Uh, I got my Milwaukee three quarter inch driver in there. I haven't really filled that one up yet. <sighs> I have all of my, uh, I have all my metric wrenches in this one, uh, both ratcheting and non. Just sure I have some more specialty wrenches, just uh, really large wrenches, uh, my line wrenches, some adjustable wrenches. Um, that is for um, the oxygen sensors, the little stubby one, and some offset uh, wrenches. And the last drawer is my uh, torque wrench drawer right now. As, as I said, I might, I might um, rearrange that. The tray is really sturdy. I like that a lot. You can also use the top of the box as a surface to work. Moving it around is really easy. It has locking casters and you can just push it and wheel around wherever you need to. So, and also has this side tray where you can stick stuff, you know, penetrating oil, stuff like that. Cleaner, brake cleaner. Um, I'm probably gonna take off this US General uh, badge and put something else there. I already took the US General sticker off the inside of the lid because I just thought it looked stupid. Um, yeah. So overall, I'm really impressed with the quality of this toolbox for $169.99. You really can't beat it. They actually have a video on the website comparing it to Snap-on's version. And a lot of the ways it's directly comparable and it even exceeds in some points. Um, you can check out the video on the website. The coupon is only good for the red, blue, and black versions. But if you ask them at the store if they can do a override on the coupon for customer satisfaction, um, that's what they did for me. Because uh, initially when I went in the store, I asked them up front if I can have any color. And they said, yeah, you should be able to get any color. But then when they did ring it up, it did um, give them some kind of problem. But they went ahead and just overrided the coupon. Um, to give me the same discount for the yellow color. Uh, they also have, they have, besides the red, black, and blue, they have yellow, white, orange, and lime green. So if you're in the market for a mechanics toolbox, a portable mechanics toolbox, or if you're looking for a holiday gift for a DIY car guy, get it.